Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so here we start this. Okay, so what do we do first? Uh, first of all, just open your After Effects and I'll choose Redis Max. Okay, now what I am doing is uh, I have given the link of this file in the description. Okay. This is in, available in the description of this video. So just run it. When you run this here, you will see this. Okay, this is the script file. So just download it. And uh, there it is. So now just show in folder. All right. Now copy it. I'll just cut it. And go to C. Program file. Adobe. And this one. This is a file folder not a file and support files and here in the scripts so okay so here you will just paste this one okay I think uh, wait, it's not there So this is also my video. So just to make it again, so you can see here you will paste this one. Okay. So after pasting there. Now what you will do is open your after effects and in the edit come to preferences and open this. Okay. Now come here. This last one. This is actually the after effects version 2015 CC. So here you can see this will be by default off. So we have to turn this on. In other version, maybe there is some other option for allowing scripts. So you have to check on Google how to turn on the scripts. Okay, so you can find it. So here in this version, here it is. Scripts and expressions, allow scripts. Then that's it, okay. Then, see this will appear here. In the script, that file is here. the script that we just passed there so now what you will do is this I put it here and I applied the simple camera track track camera and it's finished that is it okay so now the thing is how will you export this because see if you put a plan here it is in 3d See, it is in 3D. If you see such a lagging between the plan and the scene, so what you will do is just make it one frame forward. Now it's in line. Okay. Now what we will do is, I don't need these now. Not the solids. Just uh, I will make a few, I will select a few points onto the surface, which I am sure that it is on this surface. Now right click and click create a null and that's it. So select null along with the camera. Okay, and now come to here. Click this and select 3ds max and the options you can change the scale 1 dash 1 here it's 3ds max you can export to maya or other one the weird name is cute and click export so it will just take this time exporting the separate nulls
Okay, and let's finish. Now, this is the next okay? So, what I will do is where I leave this. Get to the call now, man. Okay, now we will import that camera at here. So, here also there is script and run script. That is by default exported to the desktop. So, desktop here, this is the one key. Okay, so I didn't do anything, this all just came by itself. Now, in the lift view, lift. Select all and uh, just for just for no reason just move these here because you know there is some glitch in the script and uh, it could get these by itself so we just turn on and off there to see and uh, move this now after this just create group make sure it is in the start that's it. Now rotate 90 degrees in the lift view. That's it. Open the group and I will just change the scale of these dummies. These dummies are actually those uh, scratches, beads. So I will just change the scale in local space. That's it. And close the book. Okay, so you can see these are not on one plan. We will make them on one plan. First of all, just change the scale of this whole system. So, how are we going to do that? And the camera just insert its plan. So this plan was it's supposed to be this road. Okay. So these points are supposed to be on that. So just uh, you know what I mean. So just from other views also, you see this should be in one plan. And there it is about uh, complete. Hmm. Now, how can you insert add the PD over here? The thing point is not there. Just we have exported the camera data from after effects to here because in previous Max the uh, camera tracking is not uh, at all good. So now here I inserted this box. It means it is inserted on top of this place. Now what we can do is uh, just uh, to make it precise, just open material editor and uh, open that video here in the background. And that video is uh, this one in the screen space. We will load it and apply in the environment. That's it. So still you can see it's not much of the it's not much aligned. But it is aligned. Just you will have to rotate this only on the Z axis. And that's it. Just look at this edge of this wall and edge of this And see it's aligned okay so scale it down so so still here there is a frame lagging 
for their to just delay this video either forward or backward you will find out till it has problem with means let's check now and now it's perfect it starts from one time So that is it, that's how you do it. Just for the moment I will, if you want to insert this box and there is shadow of this box on the road, so create a plane and on the plane you apply the material called this one, matte shadow. This is default scanline window. So now when I render, that plane is not visible only it will be shadows on that on that plane will be usable so we will make a light direct light mm. into user light scale okay I change back to the camera view and turn on the shadows Area shadow is the best. And there it is. You can just like in this view. You can see what is happening. You so to change the brightness of the shadow, there is another thing called skylight. Okay, so I inserted it and I turn on the shadows. If you turn off this, then here is this is the result actually. So this is not correct. There is still the shadow, but just turn on the shadow. Decrease the samples. No. Okay, so now you can see it pretty easy. Okay, and the shadow is much uh, now brighter. That's because this skylight is much brighter. So just decrease it. And you can see the result over here. You can keep the settings. And uh, now you can see, maybe just turn on this. That is how it's done. So we exported the camera setting from After Effects 3ds Max by using the script of which the link is in the description so just follow those steps and see you in the next video thanks for watching